get your mom because it's time to play along. Let's see what we can find in our finding place. Here's what you'll need to play along at home and make your own marble run. Whoa. A big piece of construction paper, a large bowl, marbles, and some tape. To make it, help your child cut the paper halfway across and cut a little circle in the center. Perfect. Then tape the sides together so it makes a funnel shape. Beautiful. Place your funnel into the center of the bowl, and now you're ready to play and learn about force, speed, and angle. Let them experiment. Roll it fast and slow, straight and at an angle, backwards and forwards, then ask them to explain what happened. <laughs> that, that doesn't work. Try it again with a little less force. They'll discover that the amount of force they use changes the speed of the marble. The more or less force, the faster or slower it goes. The angle they roll the marble at also affects how many times the marble rolls around the track. Experiment with different angles and speeds to see how to make it go the furthest. Count how many times they can get the marble to go around the track. Maybe we can go like this. Yeah! By playing our marble game, we've introduced the science of force, speed, and angles. To take the learning further, you can add more funnels, build different tracks, and explore even more. Thanks for playing with me in Tumbleleaf. Go play!